What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a track review. Yellow Card is back, one of my favorite bands of all time. Pop punk legends from Jacksonville, Florida. Exploded on the scene in the early 2000s with Ocean Avenue, the song, and the album. And were a mainstay in pop punk for many years until their disbandment in 2017. Then announced last year they were returning, and now... While they are on tour to commemorate the 20th anniversary of Ocean Avenue, we get new music. This new song, Childhood Eyes, the lead-off single to a, an EP of the same name due out July 7th on Equal Vision Records. <laughs> I'm so hyped, and I'm going to see them live in Philly on July 11th, Skyline Stage of the Man. Um, so yeah, anyone who knows me knows I am a big-time Yellow Card fanboy. No one was more ecstatic about their reunion than I was. <laughs> Um, so we have new music, this new song, Childhood Eyes, produced by Neil Avron, a longtime producer who's been with the band since Ocean Avenue, featuring uh, Nate Young from Anne Boone on, dr on drums, of course, uh, in place of longtime drummer Wanjanu Parsons III, who I, in a perfect world, would be back with the band, but that's okay. The choral lineup of Ryan Key, Ryan Mendez, Sean Mackin, and Josh Portman remains intact. So what do we have with this new song, Childhood Eyes? Um... I think a lot of the trademarks that Yellow Card was known for are present here, like Sean Mackin's violins are maybe a bit subtle and subdued as the song progresses and become a little bit more poignant on the outro, maybe, for example. Ryan Key, um, he sounds great vocally. Um, he has a very everyman delivery in his voice, and it's, it, it is very nostalgic to hear these guys again. It is like catching up with an old friend that you haven't seen in a long time. Um, lyrically, I think it weaves a tale of, like, maybe having a perspective and outlook on life that has become a little bit jaded over time. Not necessarily too jaded, as the song goes, am I the only one still watching with childhood eyes? As, as if to say, still viewing things through a prism of, like, innocence and naivete and optimism, but, like, a subtle and understated optimism that I think was kind of the bedrock of Yellow Card's music. So, like I said kind of maintaining the hallmarks of what made them who they were for so many years. And I think, like, like an understated optimism, like like a, an overarching optimism, kind of kind of slightly embedded in, in each song, was one of their bedrocks, and is present on this song here as well. Um, it's It deviates a little bit from the typical pop-punk formula. I think based off some of the, the previews and snippets they had released in... Uh, ahead of this release, kind of suggested that there would be a bit more bombast and spank more of a traditional pop-punk formula. This one, it it never really reaches the crescendo that it seems like it's building up towards. And again, it has a very not, not relaxed, but maybe sort of a, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I don't want to re repeat myself, uh, sort of subdued outro with Sean Mackin on violin being sort of the, the, the prominent thing going on at the end. Um, it, like the, the main hook, main chorus, it never reaches any level of zeal and loudness that you might think it's building up towards. But that's okay. It's perfectly fine. I think it helps reinforce that this is a new era. Like, for example, at their at their live shows now with Riot Fest last year and their new shows this year to commemorate 20 years of Ocean Avenue. They are playing Ocean Avenue in full, but they're playing it in order. So Ocean Avenue is the third song they play as opposed to the closer like they did for so many years. So I think it is important to reinforce this is a new era for Yellow Card. So maybe it's like starting over trying new things. So maybe with this new song, it makes sense to deviate from the typical formula, not, not have any excess of bombast and like when when you're reaching for like a catchy hook to not beat it to the ground you know what i mean um so it's a banger for sure and it will be a welcome addition to my rotation i am so hyped to see what the rest of the e ep turns out to be and where they go from here hoping we get a permanent reunion i'm so happy to have yellow card back because they're one of my favorite bands and because i'm biased i'm giving it a big fat five out of five let me know what you think of childhood eyes in the comments below thank you for watching like subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when video drops we'll see you on the next one